Nothing you do is gonna stop me Bring me down, tear me up Come on and make me bleed It's gonna take a lot more Than you'll ever have Before you know it, you'll be laid out on your back In the air, grip the shreds And I'll be standing over you Fight! Fight! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this special presentation of Fight Forever live here on the WXW YouTube channel. My name is Mark Shuttle. I'm the head of video here at WXW, for those who don't know me. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and before we go on, uh, it's took me live. My English is nicht good. Uh, so this broadcast will be in English. Uh, but please uh, let everyone know about this. Please share this with your friends all around the world, across Europe, across America. Any way you can, let them know about this show. Let them know about these four huge matches that we have coming up this evening. Um, and yeah, let's get as many viewers as we can on this stream and showcase the amazing wrestlers of WXO to as many people as possible. Um, but before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my co-host here this evening, the amazing WXW commentator, Matt DeMarcy. Hey, how's it going? I uh, the most good. I think the most incredible thing is the fact that you had so many nice compliments to say about me before you brought me on. So <laughs> that's already the surprise of the surprise so far. Always, always, always. <laughs> um, so how are you doing this evening, my friend? I'm doing all right. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. Finished a nice day of work. Uh Bela mm -hmm. felt this weekend. So that'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, I know as of this morning, we had less than 10 tickets still remaining for that show. I don't know if we've sold all of them yet. It could be sold out right now, but that's going to be uh, a great show. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but before we go on, uh, if you're here watching us live, please say hi in the comments. Let us know where in the world you are watching from here uh, this evening. And what you're watching on. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Are you watching That's on a computer? Are you on your smartphone? Like, how are you watching? How are you enjoying uh, this <laughs> evening's content? Smart toaster. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, so before we uh, dive into um, these four matches we have this evening, um, and they're going to be great. I mean, they were great. I think this last Fight Forever taping was maybe uh, my favorite Fight Forever taping so far. Uh you were there as well, Matt. What were your thoughts? I thought it was incredible, like the first half, especially because um, I was uh, I had to leave after the, the first half, and the, but but that those four those first matches that we're going to see tonight are, oh, ah, chef's <laughs> chef's kiss. Could not agree more. And, and hi, blood bro brother seven k seven in Germany, um, and Pascal in Switzerland. Thank you very much for coming in, guys. Uh, everyone else, I can see there's a few more of you on this stream. Get commenting, interact. This show is as much about you guys as it is about us in these matches. Interact, tell us what you think, share your thoughts, get in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to have some fun whilst we're hanging out here this evening, right? You guys can ask any questions as well that you guys are curious about. We'll try to answer it to the best of our abilities. Yes, absolutely. Um, Okay, so um, I did say, uh, oh, apparently, Matt, you're number one I've fan. I've got my here. number one fan in there. Come on, man. Abbas, the number so one Matt right fan <laughs> here in the chat tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, okay, so let's uh, briefly, before we get into uh, these Fight Forever matches, back to the roots 2023 um, in Oberhausen. Uh, incredible show. Um, let's just run run free through jesus i can't talk right now hey, hey you're the native speaker dude <laughs> you can't you can't be hicking up like this and so let's just talk about some of the things that um happened on that show so um we obviously had the fight forever match between tristan archer and fast time mudo that was an incredibly hard-hitting match it was incredible it was interesting to see tristan archer in fight forever as opposed to in the main event as we're used to in the last. yeah and I think you could tell he he wasn't happy about it. And I mean, Mudo gave it his absolute best in that contest, but 
you know, he's up against a man who only recently lost the Unified World Wrestling Championship. And so for him to put up that much of a fight, impressive. I mean, definitely a great performance from both of them. Mm. And I'm pretty sure this comment, if Tristan Archer is watching this in this comment, I mean that with all due respect. I remember the last time I crossed path with him, I got <laughs> quite the telling off. Yeah, yeah. Um, glad I wasn't there for that one. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, no, sorry, go on. What were you going to say? No, no, I'm not. I've got nothing more to say about that. I've, I've, I've been in the, uh, I've been in the hair dryer already. I don't, I don't want to be in there again. That's a spin so, cycle thing right there. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to upset the former champ any further than you already have in life. Look how, look how many muscles are on his body, and look at how many muscles are on my body. That should answer your question. Okay, moving on swiftly. So the main uh, back to the root show kicked off with. Um, Lawrence Roman from Amboss challenging Maggot for the Shotgun Championship. Yeah, 328 days down the drain, all thanks to Uhura. Uh, so. I mean, yeah. I mean, before we get to what happened with Uhura, you know, it was a tough match, a hard-hitting match between both of these guys. Um, but yeah, you really can chalk that assist up to Uhura, just laying out baby Allison on the outside there, providing the distraction for... Roman just take the advantage there. Yeah, and then Roman won the match off of it. So that's that'll tell you how much that is. I'm pretty sure Maggot's thoughts and Allison's thoughts are now already online on YouTube. So they are, and they're not happy. Um, but then uh, after that, uh, I believe uh, that we had. Oh, I can't remember the order. <laughs> My apologies. Um, I'm just trying to find it here. I am. Oh, we have, we have a Mr. Pesco job. fan right there as well. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be seeing him very shortly. Ah, it was Maria De La Rosa and Ava Everett who followed yeah. that match. I mean, it was it was a great hard-hitting match, and I think the biggest point in that match was definitely just the end with uh, Ava's signal straight to Alice Inc. So that, that'll be interesting. I'd love to see Alice Inc. versus Ava Everett. I dare say we'll see that somewhere down the line. When? Who knows? Um, and then we had a very hard-hitting tag team encounter as Metahan and Rambo faced the Greedy Souls. Greedy Souls making their WXW debut. Yo, all right. I got I to gotta, I gotta throw this out there. I'm, I'm going to yeah. tip their names into the hat. I would love to see the Greedy Souls back for, for World Tag Team Festival for, as an example. I'm going to put mm -hmm. my neck out there. I'd love to see them in there. They were friggin' incredible. But on the yeah. weekend, just in general, also also during Fight Forever, we will see Brandon Brendan White. Yeah, yeah, we'll be seeing Brendan White very, very shortly. Um, and his tag team partner will be in action here on Fight Forever next week. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, in a short while. But yeah, I agree with you. Like, I personally would love to see the Green Souls back for Tag Festival. Um, but what do you guys think in the comments? I can see you're already talking here about um, some stuff coming up tonight. So Heartless Shadows is incredible. Mr. Pesca, the best. Yep. Phenomenal superstar. Uh, whilst Blood Brother doesn't quite agree, he says the X-Man is the best. And I mean, former unified world wrestling champion, phenomenal athlete. Um, and uh, Diabolo Custode, I hope I pronounced that right. Hyped for the Pesca match. Yes, you're going to really enjoy it. Again, coming up very shortly. Be patient. We're going to see that soon. Um. And Hot the Shadow chipped in again with Maso Pescott, best rising superstar. I mean, I mean, it's it's kind of it's it's pretty clear. Massey was the most beloved guy. I mean, he's 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 a yeah. lovely guy. Yeah, Absolutely he's a lovely guy. Really nice guy. Very talented wrestler. I'm yeah. sure the guy's got a very very bright future um, ahead of him. Um, but just continuing on um, with our chat about back to roots. The next match was uh, Bobby Guns and Yota Suji. I mean, we just got we just got a bunch of Yota Suji comments and. Honestly, yes. after that weekend, freaking hell yeah, Yoda's Yoda's the man. I I did realize later on um, that during German commentary, I had says, <coughs> uh, never mind. You know, not important. Yoda Tsuji is <laughs> freaking incredible. You know how yeah. I'm, Mr. Tangent, yeah. But Yoda yeah. Tsuji was incredible, phenomenal wrestler. Absolutely went to war with Bobby Guns. Um, loved it. Incredible match. Um, and then we had, uh, we already spoke about it briefly, Alice Inc. defending her title against a former champion in Amal. Uh, that was a, that was definitely a good match as well. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. 
That's not but, right. I mean, it's also not that bad. I, I still got a lot of bass in my voice, but um, <laughs> definitely a lot of bass in, in, in that leg of uh, of Alice with that mm-hmm. dragon's tail kick. I think it was a good a good match. puts a point put, puts a like nice dot on the line of a Miles um, championship claims. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, I mean, in all fairness, Amal, she was never pinned for that belt. She was never submitted for that belt. And now she finally had the match she wanted, and she was knocked out. She was pinned clean, one, two, three. I think it's safe to say, you know, Alice is our champion, and Amal, she she has no claim to that belt anymore. Yeah, that's definitely it. In the meantime, Howdy backed it Virgil, a very special friend of <coughs> professional wrestling everywhere. <laughs> anyway, um, so back through, so we then followed up with the Unified Championship match. Axel Tisha taking on Lavaniel in a rematch from Back to the Roots 2022. And this was a phenomenal match, man. I really enjoyed this match. I, I love that match. That match was just, it just highlights just what well heart Lavaniel had. And mm-hmm. um, it's just incredible the fact that he, not only kept up with with Axel Tissue, but also won. Like the Galactic Face yeah. Crusher, <laughs> two Galactic Face Crushers, and then Levaniel holds the championship going mm-hmm. into sixty karat gold. Yeah, yeah, um, impressive win. However, you know we do need to talk about what happened after the match because you know the story doesn't end with Levaniel hitting the Galactic Face Crusher for the one two three. Sadly, um, no. Axel Tisha attacking the manual after the bell there that was heartbreaking especially mm. i mean i i, I, I mean tisher, tisher waited tisher waited waited until the final moment and <coughs> especially I mean, after after the action with putting the belt around the manual mm. a great show of respect <coughs> passing on the torch it's 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 disgraceful yeah yeah, um, disgusting scenes. I was not <coughs> impressed at all. I think you might need to get yourself a drop of water, Matt. <laughs> uh, I got I got a whole bottle of water right here. Okay, well, make sure you drink some, because that coffee's not sounding good. I don't know if you're going to last this whole stream <laughs> um, ah, without okay. it. And then we need to talk about uh, the main event, the Kerfish Lux. And we have some uh, images here we can that I can share with you from oh, that contest. Uh, and this was a brutal, brutal match. Um, I mean, what what can we really say? Like, I'm not sure words can really do this contest justice. So I was told by a, a friend of mine that they found one uh, one thing uh, to be pretty uh, clear, and the fact that it's not a Kefik Schlacht, it's a Kefik Krieg. So it wasn't it wasn't a battle in the cage. It was a it was a cage war. Mm, um, okay, and that's that's definitely the way it was. It was it was just. An insane match. Robert Dreisker, we hope that he gets well soon. Yeah, uh, and I mean, as well, it's, I, I really have to say, like, you know, for Robert Dreisker to suffer such a horrific injury <laughs> and still carry on wrestling for a few minutes after that and not just, you know, be getting beaten on, but to bring the beating to his opponents. Yeah. Like, it, it, it really tells you all you need to know about, you know, the firing side of Robert Dreisker and just how dangerous a competitor Robert Dreisker can be. He kept going. I think he would have been the difference maker in that match if you really think about it because he has the lion's share, not even the lion's share, the entire share of experience when it comes to cage matches. Um, the cage Schlags is very much Robert Dreisker's match. Let's make no bones about that. Without a doubt. So I think they definitely, the shock of losing Robert Dreisker and um, the, the fact that his experience was just all of a sudden gone and the numbers game was just too much of the cage Schlags. But, I mean, the Arrows of Hungary just definitely proved why they're one of Europe's greatest tag teams. Um, even going so far as to, to, to cut off the, the top rope when they mm. realized that the that Tihani and, uh, uh, and the, the French Adors were still using mm. the top rope and flying around in that cage. So, goes to show, yeah. you know, Ambos may have lost that fight, but, my God, it, all it took to take him out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um... It was, wow, brutal. It was an incredible show. If you haven't seen it, it's on WXW Now 2.0. All you need to do to watch that is to click the join button below this video, or I believe it's uh, Mitglide Verden in German. For our German fans here, only €9.99 per month. Phenomenal content on there. 
you will not regret it. You have to see this show. However, you also have to see what we have coming up this evening. And first of all, we're going to kick things off with Peter Tahani versus Brendan White. Oh, before that, we have a comment by the Blood Brothers saying the European wrestling style is underrated. I would, I would agree. I think the European wrestling style, I'm pretty new to it myself because um, I didn't grow up with it. But the more I see of it, the more it's just, it just takes me away. I, I love the European style, especially when it's mixed with the Japanese style. It's just such a treat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree. Uh, I think if you're not familiar with the European style, you don't realize how good it is. And we're going to see two of Europe's absolute finest right here as uh, Peter Tahani is making his way to the ring. And please tell us in the comments, who are you supporting in this match? Who are you behind? So uh, again, please tell us in the comments, are you here? Do you want to see Peter Tahani win this one? Or do you want to see Brandon White win this contest. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you want to win? Please get involved in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. And uh, if it's your first time seeing either of these guys, just strap in. Mm. Yeah, absolutely strap in. This is going to be uh, an exciting contest between that's the two of Europe's finest. Peter Tahani from Hungary, currently in the ring. And as you see making his entrance here from Wales, Brandon White. So you know I'm a big statistics guy. Yeah. Here's, yeah. here's a stat for you. Brendan White and Danny Jones, maybe the first two Welshmen I've ever met in my life. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> I'm not That's sure nice. how relevant that is to anything in the season. Not at all, but I wanted that to statistic. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, <coughs> Brendan White here, uh, he's a man I actually known since his absolute beginnings in the wrestling business. Um, you know, great guy, a guy who, you know, has really worked hard, paid his dues, improved his craft, and now you see him here in his second ever match in Germany for WXW as him and Tahani lock up with the opening bell. See the power advantage on Brandon White there. But Tihan is yeah. used to it. He's been fighting Ambos almost non stop since both moves. Yeah. Between yeah. Dreisker and Dover. He knows how to use his speed. You, you, you've seen Tihan just evolve over the past months. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And while, like, you know, both been pretty evenly matched height-wise, it looks like Brendan definitely has that power advantage, but Tahani knows how to counter that. I mean, when he's been wrestling men like Dover and Robert Dreisker, he knows how to counteract it, but he's not going to counteract a shoulder tackle like that. But he knows oh, no. it already. Oh, but here comes that agility. The speed of Tihani. Yes. Cannot... Avoid and he can hit hard. I'll tell you this, Tihani can hit hard for his size. That, all that mm -hmm. momentum, all that strength and speed is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it there. Brennan White checking that he hasn't lost a tooth on that clothesline. That's the that's the force that Peter Tani can hit you with as he comes falling off the apron. There you are making your way out of the way there. I mean you had you had the closest seat to that. I see you holding that camera. How loud yep. was that? I mean, the drop was loud. You can see as well, I've got a headset on there um, and over one ear, but it did not muffle much of that sound of that strike. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't think you want to go head to head on the stretch. Uh -oh, oh. All right. Ooh. That could have been very dangerous for Tihan right there. Yeah, yeah but that could be the difference maker though. Like, if he's able to take out that shoulder there, like straight into the post, that could be the opening to Hardy needs to take advantage here, but maybe not. Look at that strength of Brandon White. Uh, it's not just strength, oh. agility too. Look at that senton. Into the cover now, Brandon White. Just for a two count. Yeah. You see all the air just flew out of Tihani's lungs right after that one. 
Yeah, and I really thought that maybe, you know, throwing Brendan into the post to try and, you know, take out that power game was going to be the difference maker, but Brendan White is just, just too powerful. He's just a tank. That, that'll yeah. slow him down, but it definitely won't stop him. I mean, they don't call him the workings for nothing as he goes for another cover here. Two count yeah, once again. Yeah. And you see Brendan's checking with our referee, Tessima Yum. Mm -hmm. White is there. a beast. Yeah, absolutely right. White is a beast. Very intense wrestler, that is for sure. And we definitely saw a lot of that uh, back to the roots in that tag match against Matt Hard and Rambo. And White is firmly now in control of this contest. For sure, but I think the crowd makes a big difference. And you know, you know, anywhere where Tihani is there, he's going to have the crowd. Yeah. The crowd is always one of firmly behind Peter Tani. One of the most popular wrestlers in WXW today. No doubt about that. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to experience what Tihani is going to, how Tihani's career is just going to change and evolve over time. But mm -hmm. see if it'll be enough to take him over Brendan White. Wow. My oh. God, I forgot about that suplex. I what forgot, a suplex I forgot about there. that. The All right, into the cover. That, not enough to put him away, but I think that really just shows you the resiliency of a wrestler like Peter Tunney. And look, you can see here, Brennan White can't quite believe it. Shaking his head, he thought he thought that could have been all, but sadly not enough. The match continues. But yeah, the resiliency of Peter Tunney, and I think, you know, the war with Ambos over the course of the last few months, we've really seen to become more and more resilient as that war's waged on. Wow, look at that strike. Oh Again, the ferocity of Brendan White. Oh, shot to the kidneys there. White becoming increasingly more aggressive as this match goes on and he struggles to put Tahani away. He's going to keep going after him. Mm. White has just proven time and time again over this, just, just literally over two matches over the weekend. Mm. <coughs> just how resilient he and Danny Jones are. It's incredible. Even, even against Metahan and Rambo, they just would not stop. Mm. They could have think... just nearly won that match, too. Yeah, and I think what we're seeing here is... Brendan becoming a bit more methodical in his approach there. It's the Hardy man who's the... Fire back with that suplex and that flying knee. Tony looking to turn it around here. And uh, I know we've got another comment here. Is there any idea when WXW is coming back to Switzerland? Um, there are no plans right now, but things can change. You never know. Uh, obviously, keep uh, your eye on our social media channels, Pascal. Um, and maybe we'll be back soon. It would be amazing to be to, to have a WXW show in, in Switzerland. That would be mm, wow. Wonderful. You can see that EDC. That was just he's gone. He spiked him. That's it. I, yeah, and it'd be great to bring action <coughs> like this to Switzerland uh, if we could. But yeah, um, I'm unaware of any plans so far. Tahani here, firing up. Brendan White sends him off into the, onto the apron. Oh, Tahani's really dangerous from that position. Wow, black hole. Oh, it's that black hole slam. slam. That could be you when you can tell that Brendan White cannot believe that that was not enough to put Peter Zahani away right there. I can't believe it wasn't enough to put Peter yeah. Zahani away there. I am somewhat shocked myself. It's the power putting him down there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Brendan White's got him here. Ripcord, no dodges Looking from for a Tihani. rainmaker, I think, but Tahani had that scouted. Uh, yeah, 
had that scouted too. And he hits the Up step top. ahead of Brendan here. Cross body. Yeah, he brings him down into the cover there. Very near the win. Got him. Win. That's how fast the match can end. Three seconds is all it takes. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Peter Tahani, like, and as you said, Brad, it's like proving how resilient he is and proving, you know, that speed and that high flying ability he brings is enough to bring down, you know, big, strong athletes like Brendan White here at Fight Forever. Tahani did a great job there. Managed to keep Brendan White guessing, and then he just got him with that crossbody. Yeah. <coughs> Lovely stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, guys, what did you think of that match? Did you enjoy that match? Please let us know in the comments. Let us know your thoughts. Are you enjoying what you're seeing so far? And are you ready for another match? It only needs three seconds for a win. That is absolutely accurate. Yep. You just need to keep the guy down for three seconds. Whether you surprise him with a roll-up, with a cross body, whatever it is, or if you hit him with a big move, it's just three seconds. Out-wrestle yeah. him. That's all it's all about. Yeah, exactly that. As, as we said, that speed, that high flying ability of Tahani, phenomenal. Oh, and I accidentally just removed you from the stream for a break. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm insulted. I'm leaving myself. <laughs> Don't even want to shit <laughs> Okay, so up next, we have a man I think everyone here has been keen to see. I've, I mean, we've, we've seen a bunch of comments so far. So let's get straight into it. One of, I'll be honest, one of my personal favorite wrestlers coming out, uh, coming up in these last period, in this last period of time. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Can you tell us, what is it about Pesca that you're such a huge fan of, Matt? I'm a huge fan of a lot of things. You gotta be quiet when Mr. Tommy Giesen is talking. That's the greatest announcer respect. in the game. <laughs> show of respect to the greatest commentator, to the greatest ring announcer in Europe. There's a lot of things to love about Massimo Pesca. His his mentality, his way of approaching things, his skill and ability in the ring, his story. He's somebody that's been a but he grew up not the biggest guy, but he's always wanted to fight him. He's always wanted to be a superhero. Mm. And you, can, you can tell he's got that childlike wonder to him. But my goodness, <laughs> can he wrestle? Yes, definitely. But here comes his opponent, the queen of Spanish strong style. Greg McNichol, Mc, Mc, sorry if I butchered your last name. You like his entrance? I absolutely, I completely agree. I love his, his entrance here. Yeah, it's a very unique look. You don't see a lot of guys wearing <laughs> that kind of stuff uh, in professional wrestling right now. And uh, Blood Brother again, I think he looks a little bit like Dalton Castle. Do you know what? I can see that. Dalton Castle, former Ring of Honor champion. Is Maximo Pesca going to reach those same heights as Dalton Castle? I hope so. We'll see. We will see. The future, as we've said repeatedly, looks bright for this young man. As he takes the early advantage in this contest with the wrist lock, but... Maria De La Rosa here firing back with a wrist lock of her own. I mean, we've seen Maria De La Rosa in action for a good while lately at WSW since the international three-way dance at Femme Fatale, where we saw her the first time. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The queen of Spanish strong style. Pesca's definitely going to have his hands full here. Yeah, 
yeah, I think a lot of people might underestimate her, but she's definitely going to bring the fight here to Pesca and fight forever. And you see them going back and forth. Well, uh, looking yeah, for maybe a German suplexer. Yeah, able to get the upper hand here. Oh, oh that dodge. kick. That could have been all. My God, back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about this before. Three seconds is all it takes. If three seconds yeah. there, just surprise your opponent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And Malvis here says her gear looks like something out of Mortal Kombat. I'm not sure I quite said it myself, but it's definitely a very cool look. I mean, I can tell you, I can tell you one thing from from some of the blows I've seen her land on some people, she could be a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Now, Pesca now in a bit of a dangerous position right here. Into the ropes. Look, look at that strength, though. Look at that strength on Maria De La Rosa. Into the cover there. But it's only like a two count. I think it's clear here that, you know, we can see that Pesca, he's bringing the size and the strength advantage to this contest. But Marisa de Rosa just brings an almost unmatched tenacity when she gets in the ring. Without a doubt. Wait. I hope... Oh, Jacob Crane's in the comments. I hope there will soon be an option to mute the commentary team. Can listen to Mark, but Matt is too biased. I think that's the first nice thing Jacob Crane's ever said about me. I think it's just the I'm last in a long line of mean things that he said about me. Uh, yes, I mean, they're not all entirely undeserved, Matt. As Pesco goes oh, for the cover here, only a two. I mean, Pesco here. I, I kind of do get it since I have told him on many occasions that his match with Psycho Mike was absolutely my favorite match of that weekend. So mm -hmm. I understand him not enjoying my commentary. I mean, I get that, and uh, a reply we've come to expect from Jacob Crane, rude. Uh, Pesca now in control of oh, Maria Della. That's right. Uh, Pesca, Pesca's just gonna, just gonna absorb that and give it back. Yeah. <laughs> what a slap. Nah, he'll give it right back into the snapmare now. It's the ropes coming back. What a kick. Did you hear that? Into the cover there. Massimo Pesca could have it. No. Yeah, Pesca clearly not taking it easy <laughs> against Maria De La Rosa here tonight. And you know what? I think Maria would be offended if Pesca did take it easy on her in this contest. She's a fighter. She wants you to bring your A game. Yeah, That's yeah, exactly no what, what both competitors are doing in this match. Pesca's about to give her a good stretch though. That's a unique submission. I've never seen that submission before, but look just she's completely in a pretzel. She can't. Yeah, she that's can't unique. Move. And pinning combination. Oh it, no. Not enough there, but Blood Rubber felt that slap, yeah. I felt yeah. that slap. I was there, <laughs> I was there. I felt that slap for the second time. Oh, Niels, I like Matt. I can see him in the shortcut shotgun. Shortcut to the top match, I believe. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe one day. That would be that would be fun for I me. I think it'd be best off keeping out of the ring, Matt. Stay I at the commentary definitely... table. It's so much safer. <laughs> it's Maria now. Oh, oh double step straight into his chest, yeah. into the cover now. Not enough. Pesca firing out with everything he has. That was dangerously close to three for Pesca. That could have been the three count there. Yeah. Grabbing the hair there. Just pulling him up. He's fighting back, but you can tell that Tom oh. took so much out what? of him. Oh, that'll take him more. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm convinced. I'm staying on commentary after that shot. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I bet some of these guys in the comments felt that chop as well. Wow. I oh, thought that, that could have been all with that suplex. Oh, look at that. Pesca's pretty surprised. Yeah. That it wasn't the end. 
Yes, definitely. Definitely. Tesca has had a lot of inspirations in his life, including wrestlers like Tris Stratus, mm -hmm. Yoshiko Tamura, among many others. Oh, another slap. I think. Wow, I am feeling each and every one of these. Oh, what's this now? Okay, he's going to feel more than that. Oh my God! Hooked wow. him into that fisherman, into the cover right there. This could be it. No. Pesca gets now, the his... impact of that fisherman she released. I think if she'd been able to hold on, that could have been all. That extra that could, this could seconds. Be all. Oh. Pesca he was looking for that Death Valley skate. driver. Oh, here he goes. Getting her up. Back down. Now the cover. This might as well be it. Yes, it is. Wow. Man from Italy successful against the Spanish queen of the, the queen of Spanish strong style. Yeah. Yeah, phenomenal contest between these two right here. Like, and that really felt like it could have gone either way at Yeah, I really felt like it could have gone any way at several points in that contest. That slap, which one? My God, yeah. there's so many slaps in this yeah. match. That, that hurts. That really, really hurts. Like, would not like to be on the receiving end of one of those and would not like to be upsetting Maria De La Rosa in any way to, you know, deserve a slap like that. Can, we make, an, can we make an Academy title, please? Well, I mean, we had... We had an Academy Cup, but then Robert Dreisker got involved. Yeah, um, Robert Dreisker smashed that to pieces when it was held by Oscar last year. Which was, you know, a huge disappointment for many of us, sadly. Yeah, but I mean, there there are a lot of names that in, in the WXW Academy that could definitely... like. I would be fully in favor of having a... a, 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 a an Academy Championship or an Academy Cup again, because I think mm -hmm. a lot of people could benefit from it. You got Massimo Pesca, who's been on an incredible streak lately, because I believe mm -hmm. he's beaten uh, he's beaten Zafar Amin in uh, in Borken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's correct. He beat uh, Anil Marek at uh, at twenty second anniversary in the pre show. Yep. Uh, he's 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 been on a pretty good streak, so he could have he could. I mean, what do you what do you guys think? Of all the academy, the people in the, the wrestling academy, who do you think could hold that championship or, or cup? There, you got people like Aliyah Bloom, you've got people like mm -hmm. Massimo Pesca, like uh, Alex Duke. Uh, so you've got a lot of incredible talent coming out uh, yeah. in the in the academy. Oh, they, uh, honestly, like there's so much incredible talent coming out of the academy, and I know we do actually have another academy show coming up this Sunday in Gelsenkirchen, the exact same venue where we taped Fight Forever. Last weekend, um, or weekend before, rather, um, time gets a little confusing at times. Um, but yeah, that should be a really good show. We're going to see a lot of champions of the future. And, uh, you know, as Spencer says here, Maria, a future champion. Yeah, yeah, very possibly a future champion in the WXW women's division. But talking of past champions, coming up next, we have a former WXW women's champion, Ava Everett. Oh, I think you mean the best WXW women's champion of all time. Ever. That's what she's going by. I know. I know. Jacob Crane, thank God he did that. Not sure what exactly he was referring to, but Jacob Crane could also hold the Academy Champion, the Academy Cup. I mean, I believe Jacob's was a friend to Dreisker destroying the Academy Cup, but um, oh. let's move well, on. Yeah, let's move on. I take, I take it back. There again, she got Tommy Trunks as the best WXW Women's Champion of all time. I mean, I really don't see that, but let's let's ask everyone here. Who do you think is the best WXW Women's Champion of all time? Please, please comment. And it looks like Ava Everett has joined us in the chat. Ava Everett is in the chat. That I mean, looks just... so good. Um, I mean, I'm not going to argue with that. 
by any means. Um, I mean, for, for those who missed it, Ava Everett is also very uh, fluent in sign language. That sign she did means Y2 Cutie. See, I still remember well, what a Y2 Cutie is. Ava, you're here in the chat with us. Please, it, explain to me because I genuinely don't understand. What is a Y2 Cutie? Please tell me. I'd love to know, please. I'd love to know, too. I tried to do research. It was difficult. But not to overshadow, she's facing off against the Dream Girl. Every man's dream, every girl's nightmare, Kaya Dream. Incredible talent out of the U.S. It was an absolute joy to have her at Fight Forever. Yeah, uh, I say I didn't really get a chance to really get to speak with her. Um, so I don't know much about Kaya coming into this match. Uh, what can you tell us, Matt? She just has a right mentality. She was on a small tour of Germany wrestling, among other places, at Project Nova. And she's, she's here at WXW to prove herself. She's here to, to prove that she belongs. And what better way than to face a former WXW women's champion in Ava Everett. Mm -hmm. Who just told you to get a dictionary to find out what Lexi Cutie is. I mean, I looked in a dictionary. There was nothing there. Oh, these, these are the tactics that we're used to. To, two from Ava. Yeah. Using yeah. the distraction, using the distraction with the jacket, and then blindsiding Kaya. Yeah, yeah. And Pascal seems to think this is going to be a nice and easy match. I'm not sure what it means for Ava or for Kaya here, but I. It could be. This could I be it. That, yeah. That could have been it there. And there you go. See another technical, technically sound attempt at a roll up. Mm -hmm. Now Kaya sent out, catches the arm, and see now Ava Everett's oh. in a, oh, I was going to say she's in a difficult position right here. But not at all. Oh see, this is one of the reasons God. why Ava is a former women's champion. She knows when to see these small opportunities, these small openings to take the shortcuts and make the most of them to regain control of the contest. So, you know, as much as I don't like her attitude, I can't deny that she knows how to get the job done and win matches. She's proven it time and time again. Great timing to sing her to sing her praise right as she uses the hair to get an <laughs> advantage. Yeah, not a tactic I um, I approve of, but as I said, like she she knows how to get the job done, right? I a dream in a precarious position right now, and there you see again pushing her straight into the ropes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Regardless of her attitude, she can be vicious. Yeah. Just like that neck breaker right there into the cover there, but not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Real solid neck breaker, but not enough to put her opponent away just yet. Ugh. Well, Matt mocking the neck pain as well. Mm-hmm. He's got her. Oh, that clutch right into the nerve. Yeah. I mean, at least we know she also doesn't respect the referee, so... True, but she, she did have a point. She wasn't choking her across the throat or on the neck there. She was on the no. shoulder, more of a nerve hold, so... It was completely a nerve hold, so it was completely yeah. legal, but... I understand. I don't appreciate... Yeah. I, don't I mean, appreciate she doesn't have the, the best reputation. No. No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. So you can't fault a referee for being extra sure right there, but Kaya's <laughs> trying to put up a fight again. My God, I feel that already. Yeah, yeah. Into the cover there. That could be it, but no, it was only a two count. And Ava does not look happy at all that it's taking this much to put her opponent away here tonight. Oh, but you can see her just getting more and more vicious. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've said this, I've said this many a time. Her attitude aside, her tactics aside, my God, could she hit like a truck? Yes. And look at this, just pure viciousness. Nothing else. Uh, guys, please let us know in the chat. Like, what do you think of Ava's attitude here? Like, do you like it? Do you not like it? Like, what is your opinion? What are your thoughts on? 
as you see right there, this attitude that she brings into the ring with her. Oh, stop straight into the gut there. Yeah. Yeah, Ava Everett fully in control of this contest. Yeah. Yeah, now just in control. Suplexes. Kaya straight down into the cover again. Mm -hmm. Kaya's been on the back foot this entire time. She's going to need yeah. to find some separation to mount, a, to mount some sort of a comeback. And you can see you can see now like the frustrations building up in Ava. The way she's just kind of, that little nasty blow just pushing the neck and the head forward. It's not anything which is going to cause any real damage, but it's enough to maybe tweak something in the neck and cause promises. Kaya now beginning to fight back, beginning to oh, fire up. But look at this retaliation from Ava. Ava's putting up a fight. Marvelous. This attitude is me after staff don't get my Starbucks order right. Well, my God, I feel bad for anybody that works at your local Starbucks. Because if you put him in a hold like that, yeah, you're definitely going to jail, buddy. My yeah, God, is... right into that sleeper. That's another one you can see. Kai definitely trying to fight out. She's got one like three. She might be able to to find a way yeah, out but, of this. But she needs to keep the arms wrapped around the, the. She needs to keep the arms away, like wrapping around there to get at least some semblance of air. Mm -hmm. The knee straight to the gut there. Kai is in a lot of trouble there. Doesn't oh. get thrown to the outside. That's a unique counter. Wow. Straight into the cutter. That was unique. That was different. I don't think I've ever seen a counter like that before. If Kaya hadn't just taken that much punishment and had gone into the cover, she might have won this match. Look at yeah. how long Ava's been on the ground. She hasn't moved. That might have been it if Kaya had just enough power to, to just drape herself over, uh, over Ava. I mean, maybe, but at the very least, maybe that's given her the opening to get back into this contest. Yeah, if Kaya now starts that. firing away with these strikes. He's breathed life into Kaya. Here she goes. Hey, Reverend, on the onwards. back foot for maybe the first time in this contest. Oh, that knee straight. Yeah, powerful oh, knee strike there. Back elbow to the corner. Oh! There she goes. Oh, she missed that crossbody, though. Yeah. High risk, no reward. Oh, and oh. what a super kick. You can hear that. My goodness. Yeah. Kai could be out. Yeah, she's swing. Oh, that fisherman neck breaker. Into the cover there. That has to be it. Yes, it is. Wow. You can see what the fans think. Yeah, the fans at ringside here in Gelson Kirchen not at all impressed with Ava Everett. I mean, I think it's safe to say that Ava Everett has very few fans here in WXW. Uh, with an attitude like that. But I mean, she got the win. She did. And I remember this. Yet another message in the direction of Allison. Yeah, I remember it making her intentions crystal clear here in WXW. She wants that women's championship. And I'm not sure when, I'm not sure where, but I am sure that at some point sooner or later, I, Everett will get a title shot somewhere down the line. As a perfect timing in the comments, obviously I'm going to become a two times women champion. I mean, plus the beauty of this, the beauty of this stream is you guys can interact with Ava and ask her questions. You can ask her why she's so sure. Well, that she's going to become a two-time women's champion. You could ask her what what your cutie means and maybe get an answer that isn't <laughs> narky and insulting. I'm not sure any of us are going to get an answer on that anywhere, anytime soon. I see Blood Rubber asking over there, are you sure? <laughs> and oh, Ava yeah. does not want to be answering questions from fans in the chat. Um, our apologies, Ava. Uh, we didn't mean to put you in that position 
I mean, your apologies, maybe. I'm not sorry for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for nothing. Fair enough. And you know, Jacob's agreeing. J Jacob clearly, I mean, yeah, definitely. Jacob has intelligence. You guys are going to be, I'd hope he has intelligence because you guys are going to be teaming up soon, aren't you? That much, yeah, that is very true. Very true. Yeah, Bielefeld, it's going to be Jacob Crane and Ava Everett versus, I believe, Maggot and Baby Allison. BC fight oh. My apologies for that wrong button. But uh, we're going to jump straight into our main event here this evening, guys. You, yeah. you will not regret hanging around for this match. No, you will not. This match was incredible. Now you can see Uotson. Uotson. Bielefeld represent. Yeah, represent. Everybody in Bielefeld, stand up. Well, don't stand up. Type that you're standing up because we can't see you stand up. One man we can definitely see stand up is Axel Tick. And he's going to be doing more than just stand up. Regardless of what you think of what he did at Back to the Roots, my goodness, this is one of Europe's greatest Talent. Yeah, one of your finest, without a shadow of a doubt, Blobber says, my man. Uh, but you see, you heard some kind of a mixed reaction as Axeman stepped through the curtain there. You know, some people still fully... Some people still fully behind the X-Men, others really not approving of his actions at Back to the Roots. And as much as I respect the X-Men and his abilities, you know, I'm, I'm really disappointed in the path he's now chosen to walk. Disappointment is understandable, but you gotta think as well. It's a lot of frustration that's been building up in the Axe Man over the year. He holds yeah. himself to a high standard. You know, he, he just didn't deliver where he thought he should have delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I see that. And that name was, you know, a super frustrating year in 2022. He was on a lengthy losing streak, which he only managed to get back on track towards the end of the year. And here's another man that's been making ways. Yeah. And Sven in the comments says, Yota, Yota, Yota. And if you haven't seen this man wrestle before, you are in for an absolute here. The I'm gonna tell you. Wrestler. I'm gonna tell you something. Do yourself a favor. Click on that Mitglied Verden button, or become a member and go back to Back to the Roots. Watch his match with Bobby Guns. Mm -hmm. It's just what absolute barn burner. What a match. Legitimately, yeah. do yourself a favor and watch it. Yeah, Yonosuji, <laughs> phenomenal wrestler. Yeah phenomenal match against Bobby Guns, but tonight he's up against the Axeman. And we have Niels in the chat as well saying he's so excited for Ambition GMC versus WXW. For those who missed it, we will be having Icarus versus Patrick the Cyborg Bork at Ambition. I am so excited for that match. Icarus is one of the greatest talents in Europe. Cyborg I've, I've, I've spoken and I've gotten to, to, to even train with, with Patrick a few times. My goodness, the guy can go. The match is going to be incredible. So if you haven't gotten tickets for Ambition, get them. Yeah, don't Legitimately, get them. Don't miss out on them or become become a member. So much great action. We're going to see not only the GMC versus WXW match. We're going to have... We're going to... Oh, let's see. They're Blood Brothers yet again. We've got Axeman's back. It's, Ax, it's Axeman's best friend there. They're Blood Brothers. But yeah. we're going to see... The GMC versus WSW match with Patrick Bork versus Icarus. <laughs> You're going to have incredible talent that we've seen at Wildcard, like Thomas Shire and Kevin Lloyd coming back. You're going to see Bobby Guns try to defend uh, his, his, uh, his last time winning an ambition. 
Oh, well, it's not about ambition for now. This match is, you, you know, these two guys have been kind of jaw jacking with the fans for a minute or so, but a couple of shelves and the intensity slowly building here. But Axel, I'm not quite sure what he's trying to achieve here against Yota Suji. It's mind games at this level when you're in. You try to gain any advantage you can, mental or otherwise. And you can see Tischer, Tsuji's about to find out why Tischer's one of Europe's finest grapplers. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Oh, there we go. Wrenching that arm from Tischer. And Axel, we spoke out of that European wrestling style, that technical style, bringing it here. But Sushi, he's been, you know, working Europe, you know, um, a fair few times recently. He's certainly picked up a few bits and pieces when it comes to the European style. But X Men still back in control. Maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. No, he has certainly been not. learning as he goes on the European circuit. I mean, you learn a lot when you're in the ring with people like Bobby Guns, among others. Like you said, he's been right before coming over to Europe. He was at CMLL. He's wrestled in England and Italy. There you go into the cover there. Let's see, that's just how quickly two guys at that level. Yeah. <laughs> As Axel oh, shoves cover away. That's one way to make separation. I mean, it is it's not quite the clean break we wanted or expected. I mean, Tisha's still jaw jacking with the crowd, but Tassilo Jung, our head referee, trying to remind him that Yoda Tuzi is the guy he should be focused on. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, there he's you see him. He just, he just called one of our fans an idiot in Japanese. I can't be honest, this is not the kind of behavior I was ever expecting to see from the Axeman. No, it's, it's pretty surprising. I mean, frustration can only excuse so much, but mm -hmm. still, you see him very much in control. And you have to, you have to, you have to say, regardless of what you think of Axeman's actions at Back to the Roots, the fact that he's so in control, or until that moment, so in control against somebody that he's yeah. Never faced before. Yeah, definitely. And Ellison says, "Don't give up, Yuta." Uh, Yota, sorry. And I'm sure it's going to take a lot more to make a man like Yuta Suji submit. Oh, so we saw that against Bobby Guns. That was a yeah. barn burner, and there you see the Axe Man, very mobile. Yeah, very deceptively agile wrestler. Uh, guys, please let us know in the chat here. Like, what do you think of Axe Man? In New attitude, shall we, shall we say? This um, this new aggression that he's bringing to the ring. What are your thoughts? Do you like this? Do you support this? What do you think? Let us know, please. Yeah, the X Man is smart. You saw there for a moment, Yoda and X Man taking a minute to appreciate each other's body of work. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'll try to die. Not as loudly, but yeah, and um, yeah, like you know, the X Man, he's um, he's definitely a thinking man's wrestler, very intelligent when it comes to you know, he's thinking inside the ring, regardless of whatever opponent he's against. Finds way to shoot Yota off now, wow. and Blood Brother likes this new attitude, he likes this new aggression. Ben would like to go up here often in WXW. I mean, after I would the love weekend, to see Yoda back. yeah, after the weekend he had us, I would love to see Yota return. Phenomenal athlete with, you know, I'm sure a huge, bright future ahead of him. And what the hell oh. is this from the Axe Man? Grabbing Suji's beard, completely uncalled for. As I've said before, you know, 
I got a lot of a... respect for the X Men, oh. not for tactics like that. But but that's why but that's why the X Men did it. He noticed the test of the, the going back and forth, the strength, the power was on Yoda's side. Yeah, and you notice Yoda telling the X Men off there, don't look for those kind of shortcuts. Not with me. It's not going to work out well for you. Oh, glancing blow with a drop kick doesn't get it all. Oh no, but Yoda's right back there. Oh my God! Quick thinking from Yota Suji there. Quick thing. It wasn't, he didn't just think. It wasn't just thinking that he did right there. What we saw against Bobby Guns being on the outside doesn't mean you're safe against Yota Suji. Oh. oh, God. We saw Yota Suji basically face, basically completely face plan after that suicide dive against Bobby Guns. Yeah, Into the but first I think there section. he took just a minute too long against the Axeman. He gave the Axeman more than enough time to see it coming and stop Yota Suji in his tracks. He's trying to suplex him to the outside here. Suji! Oh, yeah. Brings the action back into the ring. Hard. Uh, Pascal Fricker, Gutis Altus, catch. That is good old catch wrestling. Mm-hmm. You can still hear the fans despite, despite Axel's actions of Back to the Roots. I mean, yeah. this is... This is less than 24 hours removed yeah. from his actions back to the roots. Those wounds were still fresh for a lot of people. Yeah. There you see Axel asking one of the fans what time out is in Japanese, but there, there you see it again. Axel's just using that misdirection constantly. We saw him do that against Levaniel in his match with the knee pad as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at first I thought that knee pad was, you know, maybe accidental, but evidently not. Into the cover now, Axel. This could be, no, not enough to keep Yoda down, but it's just a but testament to how far Axel the Axeman Tisher will go to win mm -hmm. a match now. But again, we spoke about this at Back to the Roots, man. Axel Tisha, you know, he knows that with a lot of the, uh, you know, the maneuvers he's hitting his opponents with, it's not going to be enough to get the free count, but he's looking to go for a lot of covers and to make his opponent expend so much energy by kicking him out often, like we're seeing again here. He knows Could the more energy there. he can make Suji expend, the easier it's going to be for Axel to pick up the win in this contest. He wants to see his face. He wants to see him writhe in pain. <laughs> He's grabbing that beard again. No, but Yoda's... <laughs> Sushi returns the favor. But it's nowhere near enough. No, it's not. No, Stitcher. Has Yoda in the corner in a very dangerous position there. On the back foot against the Axe Man. Yoda just gets the boot up there. European uppercut from the Axe Man, and we know just how dangerous it can be with those. Right, he lands like him. Suji over. Oh, right into the cover there. That could have been it. You can see Tsuji holding onto the tailbone after that landing. <laughs> And you see Axeman getting frustrated now. And this crowd is somewhat split in Gelson Kirshen. I mean, we saw that we saw that in Back to the Roots with Yoda to, uh, with Yoda versus Bobby. At some point, the crowd was split completely. At some point, they were completely for Bobby. At some point, they were completely for Yoda. Mm -hmm. Which is just a testament to just how talented Yoda Tsuji is. Yeah. But that yeah. count will keep him safe here against that neck crank. Yeah. Bob Robert says nice suplex. Yeah, very nice suplex there. Absolutely picture perfect from the Axe Man. Impressive, That's tough professional wrestler. I mean, Axel yeah. Tischer's resume speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. One of Europe's finest wrestlers in Yoda Tsuji out of New Japan. Yeah. The guys, the guys work, the guys wrestle at a high level, brother. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the crowd is more for X-Men. Yeah, I think there is a slight X-Men bias in this crowd, but there's definitely a Suji fans here in attendance. 
I wouldn't write well, his uh, support off entirely. But it looks like he could be in trouble here, to, Matt. You have to think as well, this is this is Germany, so Fischer definitely has the the familiarity over here with these fans. Ooh, Could be yes. a completely different story in Japan. Yeah, I think it would be a very different story in Japan. As referee Silo Young admonishes Axel here. Yeah, and he deserves it after all these different tactics, right? So far, you see Ford Sword yeah, saying Yoda will be back. I, I really hope so. I would love to see Yoda back in the WXW ring. Uh -huh. And speaking of coming back, you see yeah, a firing back trying to get back into this match here, but Axel goes for the toes. Oh. Neither glance in the jaw of Suji. Yeah, ah, but he saw the boot coming. He didn't just catch it right there. Oh! Wow. <laughs> that was so I remember. I remember seeing that. And I remember just audibly having to, to just. Yeah, that was, that was one of my favorite moves from the entire. From the entire show. Yeah, really, really it's unique, so unique counter from Yota Sushi. I really like that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No. And more of a lot of mind games that Axel is playing. I love I love the cerebral game too. I fully agree. Anytime your mind is stimulated during wrestling, it's not much more fun. And the Axe Man's a master of mind games. Whether you like it or not. Another unique piece of offense there from Suji, and again, Axel reeling to the outside. Well, here he goes. We saw this. We saw this. A back to the roots. Suji's about to take some flight. <laughs> Tisher padded his landing pretty nicely. Not as fun for Tisher though. Not at all. But yeah, much nicer landing for Suji here in Gelson Kirchner than he had at Oberhausen. Oh God, <laughs> remind me of this landing in Overhausen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Axel Fisher's in a dangerous spot right there. That could have been short. Cannonball, but soon you didn't quite perfect that jump. So I'm not the surprised there wasn't a free. You know, if you kind of hit the ground first before hitting Axel, if you got always like hitting Axel at first, that I think that could have been over. That could have been all he needed. Yeah. To keep Tisher down, which would have been surprising, I'll be honest. But that just shows you just, just shows you how strong Yoda Tsuji is in his entire arsenal. Of yeah, and it sounds like this crowd now getting more and more behind Tsuji as this contest goes on. Yeah, but it's Axel's pretty still split. Still, supporters, no doubt. It is pretty split between Soja and uh, uh, Tsuji and, and Tisher. Mm -hmm. No lost motions. That that's true. These two guys are just. There's not a single misstep. Not a single. <coughs> not a single move bit wasted. Oh my god. Yeah. That is completely not wasted. They're going now back and Blake forth. Blake Lariat. There it is. We've seen this before from Axel. He's no, usually seen the Axel. start of the end for his opponent. Uh, into the cover there, that German suplex. That could have been it. That boot into the German suplex is definitely one of Axel Tischer's more dangerous maneuvers. Not enough. Axel is not happy. He is not happy that that is not the end of this gun. He thought that and, was going to be it. And you saw Tsuji's eyes were pretty closed there for a good while. It might have been just instinct and only now did he come back to life. Mm -hmm. Who knows? He might think he's back in Yokohama right now. You gotta shake those cobwebs off real fast against somebody like Axel Kisher. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to give Axel a moment longer than you have to when you're in the no. ring with him. No, because then he'll have you in that position right there. There oh. it is. Death Valley Driver into the cover. This might be it for the Axeman. He might win it. Oh. Not enough. <coughs> and Suji here, you know, himself proving, proving just how resilient he is. Like, 
Please let us know what you're thinking of Suji, especially if this is the first time you've seen Suji in action. Please let us or know what you think of this amazing wrestler. Tisher. Yeah, again, if you're someone who's only seen Axel Tisha for the first time again, please let us know in the chat. Oh, you can see him here setting up the Liger Bomb. Mm -hmm. This could be very dangerous for Suji, but you see him weighing himself down. Making sure Tisha can't no, pick him up. No, back body drop. Oh. Uh oh, right into the cover there. That could be it. Oh. Did you see how close Tatsuya Yung's head was? That was insanely close. And Axel is lucky he got that boot up in time. Almost like a desperation, but Suji, no. Suji's back in control here, and oh, Alabama slam. Could that be all? Oh, you saw there. Oh. I thought that might have been it, because Tisha's eyes were close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Could be setting up. Yeah, there it is, that power slam. Yeah. Into the cover there Axel. against oh. Tisha. Axel is dazed there. Did you see the look in his eyes? That was instincts alone. Instincts alone from Axel Tisha. As Blood Brother says, close. Yeah, that was about as close as you can come. Wow. Guys, Tisha's eyes were as glazed as a donut. My goodness, that could have been it. Yeah. Yeah, just instincts and experience alone. A lesser wrestler. It would have been game up over there and there. Oh, it looks like both of them are right now. Look Good at that. Intensity in their faces. You can see the fire in their eyes. They're just going to trade blows now. Now it's just a battle of wills. Who still has the gas to hit a little harder? Who can take a little more punishment between these two? I mean, I'll be honest, I'm surprised that they've taken as much as they have in this contest, especially given the wars they each went through just less than 24 hours before this contest. Oh yeah, Axel Tisha versus Levaniel Yoda, Tsuji versus Bobby Guns, and back to he the roof. He ran there. through the clothesline. And I'll cut you off there, man. He just ran through that first clothesline attempt. I don't think I've ever took... seen... He took Tisha. Oh, that could be it. No. No, my oh. God. It Close takes a lot of power to just send somebody like Tisha flying like that off yeah. the clothesline. That was... That could have been super dangerous there for Tisha. As soon as he fires himself up, he's looking to put that man away here. He's lifting him up. What? Is Tisha... This would grab the beard again, I think. Again, looking for that shortcut, and oh my god, did you see that? The I sound see it, like I saw it, I heard head. it. By right, setting it up, possibly, yeah, the horrible slam. Power slam. Into the cover, this, that is definitely it. That has to be, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fisher comes out on top against Yoda Tsuji. Yeah. You know Blood Brother's happy with that outcome. Yeah, but I'm sure you're very happy with that result. But what a war. If Axel was fighting fair, Yoda would have won. Erzorn, I completely agree. Like, I mean, he, well, I don't know if I completely agree, but I think it would have been a much closer contest. It could have been Yoda it coming out. It was narrow. It got narrow. Could have been Suji coming out on top if Fisher was playing there. Who knows? It could have been. It was. It was insanely close. I mean, I feel like you know they could have this match a hundred times, and you know it'd be too even to call it. I don't think Ebon would, you know, win more often than the other. Two very evenly matched competitors. Let's be honest about that right now. I mean, Suji. Well real, by, yeah, well said by Sonny Gaten. It was a, it was an absolute treat to have Yoda Tsuji over. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see him again. His match against Bobby Guns and this match against Axel Tischer. 
yeah. He's definitely made quite a few fans in Germany. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, when you have two matches that good against opponents like Bobby Guns, like Axel Tischer, and when you're able to, you know, hold your own in the way that Sushi did against both of those guys, hugely impressive. Uh, what a way to make a great statement. Sushi might not have got the win for either of his matches, but he's definitely left his mark on both of those guys. Without a shadow of a doubt, he was just completely incredible over the entire weekend the match with yeah. bobby like i said the match with axel <coughs> can't sing his praises enough i think this weekend has been we i think the, the weekend has been quite a gem for wxw in general but between like the greedy souls and and, and yoda tsuji i think we had we, we found some really great talent who i would I, I i'm really excited and i really yeah. hope to see him again yeah i'd love to see them back um you know um It'll be absolutely fantastic to see them guys back. Uh, but let's take a look ahead, Matt. Let's take a look to next week and what we've got on the card next week. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any graphics prepared because I didn't think this far in advance. <laughs> I apologize. But I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see Danny Jones of the Greedy Souls uh, challenge Lawrence Roman for the Shotgun Championship. That's going to be... Uh, an intense match. Matt, your thoughts on that one? That was such a good match. I'm yeah. it's it was such a good match. Just, I I love and I'll be I just I love just two guys whacking the crap out of each other, and those guys <laughs> just can whack the like between between Danny Jones and, and Lawrence Roman, two guys who are really great technical wrestlers, but my goodness, can they just whack away at each other? <laughs> and the match, the match is so great. I I love that match. I'm excited. Like I'm really yeah. excited to, to to see the match again next week and see what you guys have to say about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I um, would love to know what you guys think. We're also going to see Ilya Bloom against Justin Daniels, who uh, come over from Ireland for Fight Forever. Yeah, we've we've talked about this before. We've seen a lot of great. You know, that Justin. Uh, he's Justin's just one of. The latest in in all of these great talents that are coming over that we've gotten to see so far, especially through Fight Forever, um, we've we've got to see Leighton Buzzard, for example, as well. Yeah, against yeah. Peter Tihani, who's gonna Leighton Buzzard, of course, is gonna be back for the for the WXW Showcase over Carrot Weekend. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited for this match. Elias, easily one of my favorite uh, young talents at WXW. I, yeah, he's you know, superb. I I don't think it's unbiased for me to say this. I I have my favorites too. So. <laughs> I'll be fair. I'll be fair when I'm when I'm on the clock when I'm doing commentary. But but for now, I can. I can, I can no, I, I feel you. I'm very impressed with everything I've seen from Ilya Bloom so far in his very short career. Next week, we're also going to see Fast Time Mudo take on Anil Marek. That is going to be fun, and we know, like we we all know how important this match is for Anil. I, I feel like for those of you who don't know, Anil's just came back from uh, from a, a long injury, so. Mm -hmm. For him, you know, he, he hasn't. It hasn't been the way he's expected. He's sadly yeah. not picked up a win. Um, yeah, he's still so looking for that first win, definitely. Yeah. So against against somebody like Fast Time Mudo, that could just be the catapult that takes him back up mm. to where he needs to go. I mean, yeah, if he's able to score a win against Mudo, you know, let's not forget as we spoke at the start of the show, Mudo really brought the fight to Tristan Archer recently on Fight Forever. Yeah, it'll be hard, so, but but yeah. I, I, if Anil can come out on top, that'll mean a lot for his career. Yeah, and as hardest, as hardest kicks in the business. Hardest kicks in the business. Yeah, I would not want to take one of those kicks. Hell no. I mean, um, I think one of my favorite kicks was the, the black belt kick to Ender Kara. That completely yeah. knocked his knocked his lights out. That was incredible. Yes. Uh, I watched that match again uh, over the weekend, funnily enough. Oh, some brutal kicks in that one. Um, but next week's main event, we're going to see... Ahura take on the current WXW Women's Champion, Alice Inc. I am so excited for that match because I didn't mm. get to see it live on the day. So I've, I like that was one, I, honestly, that was one of the matches I absolutely wanted to see, but I didn't, mm. I wasn't able to because I had to, because I had to sadly leave the event. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a match I'm so excited to see. Ahura versus Alice Inc. Two, two wrestlers that could, that are just, incredible on their own so put them together that's just like oh i said it i, I said it at the top of the stream chef's kiss wow that's lovely, stuff, lovely <laughs> stuff. 
<laughs> you, you yeah. love to see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be next week. Back here on the WXW YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Uh, Central European time once again. I want to thank everyone who joined us here tonight, everyone who commented, everyone who didn't comment and get involved in the chat. Thank you so much for joining us. We'd love oh, to wait. see you here again next week. Oh, oh, I'm getting cut off. Before that, before yeah, I'm cutting you right. off already. Go on. Just, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done, God damn it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so much. The 20th. I got to tell them about the 20th because I'm excited for it. Because I'm going to be joined on the 20th by none other than the son of nothing maggot for a latest episode of Conversations. And in this case, yeah. Conversations with Maggot. So if you guys want to want to watch this on the 20th, Conversations but, with Maggot. But here's the thing, guys. It's not just Conversations with Maggot. It's Conversations with Maggot live. You guys are yeah. able to be here on the chat, getting involved, asking questions live on that broadcast. That's in two weeks' time on the 20th. Don't miss it. It's going to be amazing, super exciting. I'm sure everyone's really keen to hear from Maggot, one of the most you know popular and exciting guys we've got in WXW right now. But before then, next week, again, 7 p.m., Fight Forever Part 2, four more incredible matches. We'd love to see you all again next week. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening. And before we go, we will leave you with highlights from Back to the Roots 2023. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>